So how can you, as a singer, songwriter, or producer, distribute unlimited music worldwide to every streaming service imaginable, get discovered by people all over the world, and have your music even possibly curated on Spotify playlists? I'm about to show you how you can do all that stuff using Ditto Music. So with that being said, let's get into this review right here. Yo, what's up everybody? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician right here on YouTube. I know it's been a while since I've done like a one-on-one -on -one talking video with you guys, but today I'm back. Now I know that a lot of you guys realize that today's music economy is based a lot or primarily on digital from streaming to YouTube to downloads and stuff like that. A lot of you guys may have heard of TuneCore, there's CD Baby, there's all kinds of services that do this distribution for you but there's one that i have found in particular called ditto music the reason that i like ditto music is because they offer a few different perks aside from the other ones that i've used in the past and also sometimes they have these different promotions to kind of help the artists you know get their music discovered from you know spotify playlisting to you know different tips that they give to unsigned artists which i think is very valuable now i'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process of using ditto music to release your music to these streaming services and, and websites and all that stuff so first what you want to do is you want to come to dittomusic.com i've already made an account and everything like that but you can see right here dittomusic.com now this is the pricing what's dope about ditto music also aside from places like tunecore is you only have to pay 19 dollars a year and you get to release unlimited music with tunecore and other services like that you have to pay a certain amount per year per song or per release i have one song that i released on tunecore that i'm gonna i think i'm gonna have to pay like ten dollars every year for that song to remain on itunes and all that stuff which i think is really stupid but ditto music you pay 19 dollars a year you can release as much music as you want to but they also have you know different tiers if you want to you know manage two artists you know you could pay 29 dollars a year and if you want to be like a record if you are a record label and you want to release uh, compilation projects or, or manage various artists and stuff like that and release all of these people under one um, account you can do that with five artists or even more you can use this slider go up to 10 15 20 and all that stuff for 69 dollars or more so it's got a few different options i really like that but you know since i'm just an artist i'm not a label i don't have a whole bunch of artists and all that stuff i basically signed up for the 19 dollars a year i can release as much music as i want and yeah so so basically guys when you come into ditto music you know you want to go ahead and make your account sign up as an artist um use whatever name that you're going to use sign up under whatever plan that you want to sign up under and so basically this is an example you know there's my name my email my avatar that i put on there um, i'm doing the 19 dollars a year and this is all my information um, on my account it's very easy to set up very uh, straightforward just follow the directions and you'll be good to go once you're ready to release your new song your new album whatever it may be you want to come here to my music it's going to ask you do you have a standard release or an electronic slash dance music release i'm just going to go ahead and select standard release because i don't do electronic slash dance music so we go create new now the release title this is going to be called breathe wait for that to set up now while this is loading what i like about ditto music is that they have a track record you know they have distributed artists all over the world from small artists to big artists you know as big as ed sheeran they've put out music for everybody so they are not some fly-by-night company they are a really established company that knows what they're doing um and so you know Obviously, when you're choosing one of these companies that you want to uh, distribute with, you want to have somebody that has a good track record and, you know, is going to get everything situated for you because you don't want to end up with some screwed up, you know, royalties and whatever, you know, all that stuff. But and another thing, speaking of royalties, another thing about Ditto Music is you get 100 percent of your royalties. They don't take any of your sales, you know, um, or any of your streaming sales and all that stuff. You get to keep 100% of your royalties because you're paying this $19 a year. I would presume that is the reason why. So that's what I really liked. So create the release. So the release information, this is going to be called uh, Breathe. This, it's the name of a single. The copyright holder is me, Lorenzo Burroughs. Copyright year, 2018. The record label, I'm independent. 
um, release artist and here I will select legend because that's the artist that I created under this one uh, artist account so legend is the artist of this song and then if you have um, other artists that you want to put as a feature or there's anybody else on the song you would just click this button right here to add another release artist now if you do that that is when you would, would have to upgrade your plan to manage more than one artist but this right here is just for one artist so we do that and then we go down to the release artwork so you can either create artwork they have a built-in artwork creator so it'll fit all the specifications that are necessary to release a song or a single or whatever that's pretty cool that you can create artwork within this platform if you're somebody that's not uh you know well versed with photoshop or you don't have the money to spend you know on somebody else creating your artwork you can do it right here i am going to select the file breathe cover this is something I just made really quick for the sake of this, this video. So that uploaded, there you go, there's the artwork. Then you come down to number three, this is the release genre. So what genres can this music classify as? Now for me, this is going to be pop and R&B. Uh, so once you do that, you select the language that the track is in, so English you go to next upload your music now here is where you where you upload the track itself file upload let's go like that and go breathe right there now when you're uploading a file to any of these websites some of them require that you upload in wave format because it is the higher quality and it will you know have better playback on these different streaming platforms this one it says you can upload a wave or mp3 but i recommend highly that you upload the highest quality possible that you have make sure it's no larger than 200 megabytes and um if you're uploading a full album here you want to make sure that there's no more than 29 tracks because then you know you wouldn't be able to upload it so you come down here so don't just scroll down here and check mark all of these things you want to make sure that you actually read this stuff because this is serious business so I understand my release may be rejected from stores if I don't correctly label tracks as explicit or that contains swear words or obscenities. So if you have, you know, swear words and all that stuff, you have to label that stuff as explicit or else they will take your stuff down. I recorded this music. I'm authorized to sell it in stores worldwide and collect royalties. So I, this isn't somebody else's work. This is all stuff that I've done. And then I'm not using any other artist name, song titles or album titles without their approval. So just make sure that your stuff is 100% original or that you have written consent from the copyright holder. If you're releasing something that includes somebody else's work in any way, shape or form. So we got the uh, ISRC generated, Breathe is the title track, artist name legend, status, boom, 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 boom. All these are check marked. We go to the next, plan the release. So right here is where you want to select the release date. And then what I like about Ditto Music is this right here. To put your music out there on all these streaming stuff, it's going to happen, you know. It takes about a week, sometimes two weeks to get your music up in some of these stores. But Ditto Music offers at least for iTunes, it's an express option to get your music on iTunes within four hours. That's crazy. 24 hours is already crazy, but four hours of me submitting this stuff and they, my music will be on iTunes. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm not in a rush. When would you like this release to go on sale? So if you have a specific release date that you want this to show up, you know on all these streaming sites you would select that you know if you have like a promotional campaign that you're going to do to kind of build up this release then that's when you would select something like this but if you just want to release it as soon as possible um then you would click as soon as possible so there you go and then here you can also if you do want to schedule a release date for it so you would select something that's in the future and then you select pre-release you can do a 40 dollars for a pre-release which allows people to pre-order so that kind of gives you even more of like a promotional type thing so it, it gets the awareness going so i'm not going to do that but that is an option if you do want to do that now number two your, your geographic availability if you want to limit the release of your project your song whatever it is to a specific country you can do that or if you want to make it worldwide you can do that as well i would recommend worldwide because why would you want to put it just in one place when you could have a bigger chance of being discovered by other people if you put it worldwide in multiple countries so i would always go with worldwide then number three register your release for the charts 
So here, this, this is dope. I haven't seen this with any other distribution service. If you want to register your release on a national level or a worldwide level for your music to be chart eligible, you can pay $30 for national registration, which is in the US and Canada. If I select this, US, Canada, UK, Australia, blah, 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 blah. And if I wanna do it for worldwide, it'll release it to all these things. So if I make enough sales and I, you know, pass up, you know, Kendrick Lamar or something like that, it'll actually show up on the charts, which is, which is pretty dope. Uh, I'm not saying that's gonna happen now, not yet anyway, but the fact that it's a possibility is really, really, really dope. It'll actually show up in the charts if you make that much sales. Let's go to the next screen here. Just for the sake, I'm just gonna leave it at 99 cents. And then here you can select each and every store that you want your music to be distributed in. I would just put it on all stores, to be honest, because you know you never know what services some people use and some people don't. You never know who's gonna discover you through which platform. Why would you limit yourself to only iTunes? To only the only reason I can see that you would limit yourself to a certain a certain streaming site or something like that is if you know one pays more than the other and you want you know that you're going to have a lot of listeners that are you know on Tidal for instance that are going to play your music and you get paid more from Tidal. At this point I think it's more about discovery um, so that's why I would just blast it to stores everywhere. So that's going to put it in all these stores. Go add to basket. So review your order and subscription details. So this is where you would review everything. This is Breathe. It's a single. Release date May 17th. Um, it's got chart registration, which I added there is so $79. The price is free because I already pay my $19 a year membership fee for the one artist account. If you want to edit the details and the release and all that stuff, you could do that here just in case you want to do some last minute changes. Once you are all done, you would just basically pay with your credit card or pay with PayPal. You hit that button right there. So once you do all that stuff, once you hit the sub submit button, you know, you pay with your card and all that stuff, your music will be then put into, you know, the processing stage where they go through your music, make sure the artwork is, you know, copacetic. They make sure the music is all yours and it's not copywritten or anything like that, that you're not stealing. And once your music gets approved, they will let you know that it's approved and then it'll start showing up in the stores. And then once you put your music in the store, you're gonna come to my music and once it's released and all that stuff, you come to my music, you scroll down and then you'll, I mean, I already did it right here. So that's why it shows two versions because I already released one and I need to take this down because I don't want you guys to hear that yet. Now, if you wanna see your sales and how your royalties are doing, how many streams you have, um, how many purchases you have and all that stuff, you basically come to my sales, go to royalty earnings. And then here is where it'll show you the tracks, the albums, whatever it is. The release name, so it's Breathe. Uh, it basically has one release, um, but because I didn't really make it public to you guys, then you know, of course, it's not going to show up. But um, so in this case, you know, this is just like an example. So 52 sold, and I would have made 41 dollars and eight cents from these sales at the price that I put it at. And then um, you can go by tracks, stores, months, countries. You can, you know, view all that information to see the exact breakdown. You can select the dates that you want to see, uh, how much you made within a specific time. And then once you're ready to get the payout, you would go here to payout, click payout. You scroll down, your balance will be right here. I've already taken out the money from this account. So obviously my balance reads as zero, but here's where you would take the payout. Um, it would go straight to your account or your Pioneer, Pioneer account, which is the one that they introduced for faster payments. And that's how everything works here on Diddle Music. So um, this is just a video to kind of show you guys a different way to distribute your music other than TuneCore, CD Baby, and all that stuff, which I know are very popular options, but this one offers some really dope stuff, incentives and all that stuff. They give good advice for unsigned artists on how to get your music on Spotify playlist. They even have curated playlists that you can submit to. And it's just really cheap. $19 a year, that's dirt cheap. That's a little over a dollar a month, but I think that's really worth it to be able to release unlimited music. So um, if any of you guys out there are looking to submit your music to any of these stores for a very, very low cheap price, then I would highly recommend it on music. Go for that, get your money, all that stuff. And uh, it is what it is, man.